Howdy Cottonwood Valley followers, it's Matt out here in the field tonight. It is Thursday, June 26th out here, and we're pumping water and fertilizer out to the field. The plants are hungry, we've had some long, hot, windy days, so we're pumping some 20-20-20 water-soluble fertilizers, that's the NPK of 20-20-20. I mix two pounds to about five gallons here that I'm using a Venturi injector for. So on my injector here, this came from Nolts Midwest, that right there is the Venturi piece. So what it's doing is, I've got water coming in right here on this side, it's bypassing up in there, and that's creating suction going to the bucket here that's sucking the blue fertilizer up. Right here you can see I'm pushing about five gallons per hour out of the bucket there at about 11 PSI out to the drip tape in the field. What that's doing at about five gallons an hour on the water or the fertilizer mix going in is giving me an EC reading of about 1.3 out there in the field and about 300 parts per million, which if you read the bag as applied, I'm using the Grow More 202020. Uh, that's what they recommend for uh, sporadic feedings. You'd want it a little bit lower than that if we pumped fertilizer every time, but uh, that's the feeding we're giving them now. They have had almost nothing this year getting to this point. So that's what I'm going with tonight. We did give them some fish fertilizer, a light dose of it, about a week ago. But these long, hot days, they just need a little bit more help. Let me show you our pump setup and our tank setup. Right here, I have a 250-gallon IBC tote. Uh, this is one that some food-grade materials came in at one point, washed it out real good. But what I have right here is a hose coming all the way back from our pump house. We have a great groundwater source out here. We're very thankful for the quality of water that we have and then the green hose is sucking out of this tank so we actually are applying a little bit more than we're providing at the time so that's why we start with 250 gallons of water in the tank before we ever start the gas pump up then the gas pump we're using is a 200 dollar harbor freight predator one inch pump so it comes in right here i tee off right here you can see where i have the water and it runs right over here to the injector where I just walked you through all those pieces. And from here, we filter it, have a pressure regulator just to make sure we don't blow the drip tape up. And it runs through one inch orchard tubing out to our field. So that right there is how we feed our plants here at Cottonwood Valley Farm. Thank you so much to everybody that's come and bought some out at the farmer's market this last couple weeks. We plan to be there this weekend. We plan to keep attending. There are some other pieces in the works to help sell produce here for us at Cottonwood Valley Farm. Hopefully we have those around the 4th of July, maybe the end of next week, things going with that. So thank you for following along. Make sure you like and subscribe.